In the artistic world, an artist initiates the creative process, but the viewer completes it. In the natural world, one could say, the properties of energy and matter initiate the creative process and those paying attention complete it. Today we are going to look at one of the creative displays of the natural world, the rainbow. Of the many ephemera in our experience, the evanescent rainbow is a perfect example of impermanence. That is that everything is changing in our minds, our bodies and the world around us. It's late afternoon. The weather is hot and humid. Clouds are gathering so thickly that it is actually getting dark. Lightning flashes and thunder rolls. Soon it is pouring rain. But as quickly as it began, it's over. The rain abates, the clouds begin to dissipate, and streaks of sunlight stream through. Then it appears. A rainbow, stretching from one side of the horizon to the next. How has this colourful arc been created? How is it that it can be seen? Sunlight travelling through the air usually has to contend only with sparse gas molecules. But air filled with densely packed water droplets, like after a rainstorm, compels light to essentially travel through a liquid, which affects its velocity. Microscopically viewed, when a thin beam of light enters a water droplet, the light wave is bent, and bent more depending on the wavelength. Blue a greater amount, and red less so. It then ricochets off the far side of the droplet, and exits out slightly below where it entered, bent some more, and generating an array of colours. With so many droplets generating so many mini prisms, when combined, a beautiful circle of prismatic colour is created, of which the top half can be seen, the bottom half being blocked by the Earth's horizon. But just who can see this rainbow? To complete this creative process, a viewer must be able to see differing wavelengths of light. Many animals can detect blues and blue-greens. Birds can see partly into the red range, but only primates and a few other monkeys are able to appreciate the full range of light, from violet blue to the many hues of red. This phenomenon is explained by a unique eyeball with a retina that has color-sensing cells or cones that respond to light of short, medium and long wavelengths, or blue, green and red colors respectively. Not all humans are able to perceive this splendid display of colour, but those who can are treated to it for but a moment. After a while, the air begins to cool. Water content decreases. Sunlight no longer has to negotiate a liquid medium, and the rainbow vanishes. Its existence becomes only a memory, and a story to tell about how nature's creative process was completed. That is, until the next thunderstorm swells on a humid afternoon.